So here we discuss uh, image formation due to a concave uh, lens. A concave lens is a diverging lens. Again, let's begin by drawing the uh, ray diagram and then we will confirm the numbers we get from in parts A to D uh, with whatever we have in the ray diagram. So let's begin by drawing the optical axis. That's a direction of uh, light. That's this. And the lens will be represented by a straight line. perpendicular to the optical axis. The actual lens is a concave lens, which we will represent by this picture here. These are two spherical surfaces, not necessarily of the same radii, but they have an effective focal length, which is, since it's a concave lens, it is it is a negative focal length, so that means it is somewhere here. So that's going to be our focal. So that's our scale. That's your 10 centimeters. If that's 10 centimeters, that's 20 centimeters. Unlike mirrors, that is two times F is nothing. It's just a scale. So that's three times F and so on. And the same thing goes on to the right. So we have one. That's 10 centimeters, that's 20 centimeters, that's 30 centimeters. Vertically, let's have, that's one centimeters in the vertical scale. And that sets our uh, problem. And again, focal length is measured positive to the right. So that's a convex lens and it is negative to the left. That's a concave lens. Object distance is positive to the left and negative to the right. So that's a real object. And that's a virtual object. Virtual objects are possible using compound configurations. That means more than one lens of mirror. And this is a convex uh, lens. A convex lens is also called a converging lens and concave lens is also called a diverging uh, lens. Image distance is measured positive to the right, which means it's a real image uh, if it is formed onto the right side of the lens. If the image is formed to the left side, it will be called a virtual We have our object placed 15 centimeters to the front of the lens. So that's 15 centimeters to the front of the lens. So that's 15, exactly half somewhere between the two dots. And that's our one centimeter high object. So that represents our object and we are to follow two rays. The first ray starts from the head of the object and in lens configuration goes through the center of the lens and goes undeflected. So that's so that's our object and it goes to the center of the lens and goes undeflected. i show that in the backward direction also. So that's just a reference line. <clears throat> okay. So that's a first uh, ray and Indeed, this is array one. What's your, what's your one? <clears throat> the second ray is got by following a ray that goes 
parallel to the optical axis, let me again have the red color representing the actual rays. So it is parallel. And after it touches the line, which represents uh, the lens, it actually passes <coughs> through the focal point, but focal point is to the left. So, uh, so let me have a reference line now, temporarily. So that's my reference line. Well, that is a ray go. Ray starts parallel, that's just the uh, lens and it diverges. The diverging lens means that all the rays that come parallel to the optical axis seems to be diverging from the focal point. That means to say that they will look like they're coming out of the focal uh, point. So that will be our ray and that will be ray two. So that's ray one and that's ray two. And wherever they intersect is where the image is formed. But they do not intersect to the right side, but if we project it backward, it's a long little form. Only one ray has to be projected backward. It's, it intersect right at that point and our image will be formed right there. And the head of the image is formed right there and it's uh, overall, it's, this is your image. It seems like it is halfway between the focal point, but it's not very clear if our, um, if our figure is accurate enough, it, which it need not be because these distances not, were not measured accurately. Uh, it seems like it's slightly larger than uh, halfway. So let's, uh, that should be consistent with what we get for our numbers. So let's, uh, Calculate the image distance, which is one over P plus one over Q is equal to one over focal length. Object distance is, it is kept in front of the lens. Object distance is positive, so it's plus 15. Plus one over Q is equal to one over the focal length, which is 10 centimeters, but it's a concave length, so it's a negative 10 centimeters. That tells us that it is one over Q is equal to minus one over 10, minus one over 15. Make the denominators common, multiply by three, multiply by two here, that makes the denominator common. So it's minus three minus two. So it's minus five divided by 30. So Q will be equal to minus 30 over five. And to three six digits, it is minus 6.00 centimeters. This was 10 centimeters. So if this was five, so it is uh, slightly, the figure shows it to be slightly towards the left, but if it was precise enough, it should have shown exactly six centimeters, slightly off from the halfway between the point F and the center of the lens. <clears throat> it is negative. Negative means it should be virtual, and indeed it is where virtual images are formed to the left side of the lens. So that's consistent with what we have in the ray diagram. What is the magnification? M is negative of the image distance over ratio of the image distance to object distance. And that's equal to negative of minus 6.00 centimeters over uh, plus 15 centimeters. Three, three significant digits apparently. So six divided by 15, it's a positive number, six divided by 15. That's 
plus 0 0.400. 0, 0. No units because it's a, a ratio. The positive sign means it will be upright, and it is indeed upright in the ray diagram. And 0 0.4 means it's not, it's smaller. In fact, it's smaller than half its size, and it seems to suggest, uh, the ray diagram seems to suggest that. C is the image real or virtual. That's got by the sign of the image distance. So it is virtual. And part D is the image inverted or upright. It's got from the sign of the magnification. So it's upright. And that finishes this uh, example. Let me stop sharing and stop recording.